everyone, and thanks for joining us. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to install a simple residential landscape drip system starting from an outdoor faucet. Now, installing a drip system yourself is not something that everyone should attempt. If you don't like working outside, or if you have arthritis in your fingers, hands, or arms, then you may want to get some help. But installing a landscape drip system is a lot easier than installing a sprinkler system. No glues, special tools, or trenching are required, and when you're finished, you can take pride in saving money, creating a healthy landscape, and doing your part to conserve water all at the same time. The half-inch tubing is the main supply line for the drip system. The first step is to uncoil and lay out the half-inch poly tubing. For now, just run it out through the garden next to as many plants as possible. So we're going to start over here at the faucet, where we've already connected the head assembly. For more information on head assemblies, see some of our other videos. Polytubing is connected together and to other components by using compression fittings, which fit over the outside of the tubing. We're going to start by forcing the end of the tubing into the swivel adapter, and then screwing the adapter onto the pressure regulator. Now it's time to start connecting the emission devices. DIG provides a variety of emission devices to efficiently irrigate all the plants and trees in your landscape. Choose preset or adjustable drippers to irrigate individual shrubs, and drip line or micro sprays to water trees or larger areas of ground cover. Just take care not to exceed the maximum flow rate for half inch tubing, which is 220 gallons per hour. We're going to start with the drippers first and install them right into the side of the tubing. Use the punch tool to make a hole in the side of the poly tubing, and then force the barbed end of the dripper into the hole. It's best to install a minimum of two drippers per plant, each one on opposite sides of the root ball. On larger plants, you want to install more, so the entire root ball of the plant or tree is covered. Where you need to branch off to reach other areas or plants, you can install half-inch tees on the half-inch supply line. Sometimes, to reach plants that may be too far away from your main line, it may be necessary to install drippers or quarter-inch drip line at the end of quarter-inch microtubing. To do so, install a quarter-inch barb into the end of the microtubing. Punch a hole in the polytubing and push the other end of the barb into the hole. Now just run the quarter-inch microtubing out to the plant and install the dripper or drip line onto the end of the microtubing. Secure it into the soil with a stake. In landscapes where there are many small plants close together, it's best to irrigate them by installing micro sprayers or quarter inch drip line. These products are connected to the half inch poly tubing in the same manner. Just connect the drip line or sprayer to the end of the quarter inch micro tubing by forcing the quarter inch barb into the end of the micro tube. Next, we're going to move down to the end of the line, which needs to be closed off with this end cap. Before we screw the cap on, we need to flush out the line to make sure no dirt or debris goes into the emitters. Just open the system valve and check the water coming out of the end. Make sure the water is running out clean and clear, and then screw on the cap. After the end is closed off, it's time to pressurize the system and check all the connections and emitters for leaks and coverage. The system is now complete and ready to provide many years of efficient operation. To learn more about automation or other water-saving dig irrigation products, please log on to digcorp.com. Thanks for watching.